How's it going everybody? CG from On The Grow here and today we're going to be starting our first in-depth hydroponic battle royale. So what does that mean? That means that we're going to be putting four different hydroponic mediums against each other to see how they perform and which one performs best, which one performs worst. Uh, we're going to be considering cost, uh, how the radicals grow into the medium, how it retains water, and so on and so forth. Um, so before we get into all the mediums, let's quickly talk about the test parameters. We've gone ahead and seeded every single one of these trays with 25 grams of daikon radish. Uh, the reason we do 25 grams instead of our normal 35 is that we want to be able to see through the stems and the canopy. So we want this to be a little bit less dense so that we can see the medium as these grow. Uh, we will be bottom watering all of these uh, with the Ocean Solution Nutrient, which is an OMRI listed uh, for organic use in hydroponics and just in the garden. Uh, so we're excited about that. So now let's quickly talk about the mediums. We'll start over here with the, the jute. So jute is very sustainable. It is biodegradable and it is compostable. It seems to retain water quite well. So we're excited to try this one out. It actually seems quite similar uh, to Biostrate. So Biostrate is the next one, and it's something that we've used quite often in our grow space. It is a biopolymer blend with natural fibers. The thing I dislike about it is that it is a biopolymer blend with natural fibers. There's just like lots of question marks, like what is this exactly? Is it sustainable? Um, how biodegradable is it? And how compostable is it? I know that it is compostable in an industrial setting, but it just leaves a lot of question marks. So <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Once I stop dying here. Choked on my own spit. <clears throat> so the next one here is veg bed, which is a bamboo mat, which feels very similar to like a cotton. Uh, it seems to hold water very well, and it is sustainable, biodegradable, and compostable. The last one we have is called micro mats, which is a sustainably harvested wooden mat. Uh, so something we noticed with this is it did create ripples once we watered this. Uh, so that's something that's slightly at a dis something I dislike about it right off the bat, but it is biodegradable, it is compostable, and it is sustainably harvested wood. So that does make me excited about this medium, and it is a relatively low price point. So I'm really excited to be testing all these out against each other. I'm excited to see how the radicals dive into these mediums. I'm a little worried about like say the wooden one where the medium maybe is a little bit harder to get through, but we'll figure that all out as we go along. So stay tuned and we'll see how these grow. All right, so today is day seven of our medium test for hydroponics, and the results are actually pretty dramatic. Uh, I wasn't expecting to see a lot of different growth because this is only testing out mediums, but that we actually have had uh, some quite significant differences in the growth, which is very surprising. So I think the first one we're gonna talk about is the micro mats. The reason I wanna talk about it is because in the beginning, it did not retain water very well. And what I realized is this thing needs about a day to kind of build up uh, the water retention uh, for it to work. And actually it just started breaking apart there. So I'm a little worried about harvest, but we will see when we get there. So again, the micro mats needed about a day first to absorb the water. And then I think that it would have been uh, better to start the test after it had a chance to absorb a little bit. Uh, but again, because we just seeded directly onto it and misted it, we had poor germination on this one compared to everything else. So we'll start over here with BioStrate. Uh, Biostrate is something that we've used in our space a lot. We get great results with it. Uh, it's very consistent and it provides great growth. The only thing I dislike is I don't know how sustainable it is. So we're trying to move away from this. On to the next one, which is Jute, which is a very sustainable option. And I'm really excited because this looks basically even with Biostrate. And if we continue to get great results with Jute, I will be moving over to Jute in the future because it is very sustainable and it seems to provide great growth. Again, this is micro mats, which is the um, sustainably harvested wood one, and it needed more time to germinate in the beginning. It actually needed more time to pick up the water to help with germination in the beginning. So we'll be testing this out some more in different ways. And the last one is veg bed, which looks like it has very great growth. So veg bed, jute, and biostrate all had very solid germination. Those were very easy to use 
and I'm really excited about those. So, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and harvest, see if there's any difference in weight. There really shouldn't be because these all use the same um, nutrient solution, uh, So, but we'll find out. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest and I'll see you in a second. So we just finished harvesting all these trays and you'll notice we only have three. I toss out the Micromats one uh, because it was just very inconsistent growth and it's not something I want to save. So let's talk about weights. So for the Micromats, we had a total weight of 89 grams. Again, I tossed that one out because we're not saving it and it was the lowest weight. Uh, the next one up is going to be our Jute, which was 285 grams. Above that was our Veg Bed at 312 grams. And the very best weight we had was BioStrait at 323 grams. So the cool thing is all three of these kind of stayed within the same um, weight range here. And uh, I don't think this is an absolute value of, hey, this is how these are gonna grow always. What I'll be doing now is I'll be testing out probably two trays of jute versus two trays of BioStrait and things like that to make sure uh, that it actually is producing. Is it producing less weight or is it producing more weight or is it the same, you know, whatever that is. So getting more refined tests that way. But the great thing is that this is a great baseline to see how things worked. Okay, so we are really excited with how the results came out on this test. The only one that was a slight disappointment was the Micromats. And again, it's because we didn't understand how to use the product. Now that we kind of understand how the product works, uh, I believe we can get better results out of it. But one thing that just popped in my head about the Micromats, uh, where is that tray? Uh, you, if you look at it, you can kind of see as I was harvesting, the material began to rip, like kind of like a wet paper towel that isn't uh, of very high quality. So that's one thing to be aware of is that when harvesting the micro mats, uh, like I would just like graze my knife across it and it would just rip out that medium. So something to be super careful of with that medium and we'll be testing out more in the future to see if that continues to happen. That was a lot of information. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this test. We always encourage people to try out tests like this to see what works best for you. I'm really hoping that jute is gonna be a solid provider of growth and germination for us in the future. So I'm gonna be continuing tests with that and all these others just to continue to see what works and what does not work. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give us a thumbs down. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. We'd love to get those answered for you. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, please. And our Instagram is at on the Grow Farms. Thank you so much and have a great day.